What up Long Beach? Happy New Year. Welcome back to the show here at the downtown offices of the Long Beach Post. I'm Mike, he's JJ, we're the 562.org, and this week on the show we've got a packed winter sports schedule cover. And let's be honest, that's not anything new. The winter schedule really is the busiest that we have here in Long Beach because we basically have four major sports in both boys and girls basketball and boys and girls soccer. It's grind time, baby. We have 52 games happening in the city of Long Beach, just counting high school sports just over the next five days. That's how busy and crazy things are in the winter. It got kicked off on Tuesday as girls soccer took over the local sports landscape because it was time for the oldest rivalry in Long Beach to hit the field. Polly and Wilson, where Emma Schiffer gave her team the lead, and then Wilson was able to hang on as the Jackrabbits came storming back. Yeah, Wilson took a 3-0 lead. Schiffer had two of those goals, and then Polly got two goals from Anaya Cutler within the span of three minutes to make it 3-2, and then basically spent the next 20 minutes peppering Wilson freshman Olivia Herrera, who was good enough to come up with the saves and give Wilson the win. Not often do you see a losing team outshoot the winners 22 to 12. My goodness, the pace of that game was amazing and makes us very excited to see these teams take on the Milliken soccer team that beat both of them on their own home field. So now Milliken has to go on the road to Polly and to Wilson, and those games are probably going to end up deciding the Moore League champion this year. Have to mention girls water polo, the Moore League showcase happening at Cabrillo on Wednesday. We love this event. All six Moore League teams in action. And the Moore League should have more of this. These one day showcases where you get to see everyone are great. Uh, we would love it if there were a better game at the showcase next year, though. All we're saying is this is a tightly knit sports community here in Long Beach. They love watching each other play. The basketball doubleheaders on a Friday night are an awesome atmosphere. We need more of that in Long Beach sports. We need more, multiple, more league games at one site at one time. We move on to Thursday night where we've got wrestling to cover. Last year, a lot of teams had an individual champion at the Moore League Finals, and some of them are back. So everyone has somebody to watch. I don't even know where I'm going yet. I haven't even decided which one I'm going to cover because tonight, Thursday, will feature the first and only three-way more league meet as the wrestlers from Jordan and Compton travel to Cabrillo. Meanwhile, another action, Wilson will be at Lakewood and Polly is going to be hosting Milliken. Both of those are pretty much must-sees on the boys and girls side. Or if we had to pick one game of the week, it would probably be Friday night. Boys soccer is the only more league sport right now with three Division One programs. Two of them will be meeting in the Clasico, our favorite rivalry maybe in all of more league sports. The Milliken and Cabrillo boys soccer team going to reignite their rivalry at Veterans Memorial Stadium at 7 p.m. These two programs have given the fans some greatly hotly contested league races over the last 15 years. And they've got everything you would need from a rivalry controversy, great games, great players. Milliken has the lead overall. They've kind of dominated the series, actually, but it's been a lot closer recently. At one point in the mid-2010s, this game had consecutive two-goal comebacks, one for each team, and wouldn't you know it, the Rams and Jaguars have a win and two draws each in the last four matchups over the last two league seasons. Other league action to cap a three-game week, Polly hosting Wilson at 3 p.m. and Lakewood traveling to Jordan at 6 p.m. Finally, on Saturday, the Ron Massey Classic is back. The sixth Massey Classic is actually going to be at LBCC this year, but it is hosted by the Jordan Panthers, and Long Beach is going to have three teams in six games. Yeah, three games we're really excited to see. We're going to have coverage of that entire event. Wilson will be facing St. Paul at 11 a.m. Lakewood will be facing off against Sunnyside from Fresno at 2, and then Jordan is taking on Corona Del Mar at 5.20 p.m., the game that's got a lot of uh, regional basketball fans talking, Redondo Union versus Olu going off right around 7 o'clock. Uh, we've gotten a chance to see some of these teams, and I'm, I'm interested to see how they do in this setting. Yeah, covered Wilson and Jordan on Monday in more league action, and that was an exciting game, even though it was a little bit sloppy. And if you're playing exciting sloppy basketball, you can probably play exciting good basketball, and they're hoping that everybody gets there eventually here in January. And we just had to shout out Ron Massey, uh, one of the all-time great basketball coaches here in Long Beach and really here in Southern California. And he was an old school coach and I kind of like that and how this event feels. It's a one day event. There's, there's really not many like that left in high school basketball tournament days. And it's an old school lineup and it's gonna be run down to the minute. I mean, that Olu Redondo Union game is scheduled for 6.55, Mike. And I can almost guarantee you it's not gonna start on time. 
we got to cross our fingers, JJ, because we got too much stuff going on for anything to be running late right now. You've got to keep it tuned to the 562.org and lbpost.com for all of your Long Beach sports coverage.